the cost of the Chandrayaan-3 successful mission to the moon was about to be 600 crores. But do you also know that government earned rupees 600 crores by selling scrap till this August? And this mark could cross rupees 1000 crore by October? One can call it a new revenue stream for the Narendra Modi government. Nearly rupees 600 crores has been earned till this August by the centre by, believe it or not, selling scrap in the form of weeded out files, condemned office equipment and obsolete vehicles. This mark may well cross rupees 1000 crores by this October. The government is launching special campaign 3.0 from October 2nd till October 31st with a further focus on cleanliness and reducing pendency of complaints in the government. A top government official has told News18 that while rupees 371 crore were, was earned from a similar campaign run last year in October, the target this time in the third edition of the special campaign is hitting almost rupees 500 crores through selling of scrap. The government in fact had earned rupees 62 crore from the first such campaign in October 2021. Since the last campaign ended in November, the government institutionalized the cleanliness campaign as a constant exercise and has earned nearly rupees 20 crores each month from the same. This has resulted in clean office corridors in government offices, steel almiras full of government files being cleared and condemned government vehicles being auctioned off. Figures with News 18 show that nearly 31 lakh government files have been weeded out ever since the campaign first began around two years ago. The amount of space freed in government offices is a whopping 185 lakh square feet as on date. Details with News 18 also show that while a record 90 lakh square feet of space was freed just during the campaign 2.0 in October last year, the target this October is to free at least 100 lakh square feet of space. The government had covered nearly 1 lakh office sites in the last campaign and is planning to target nearly 1.5 lakh offices sites in the third edition of the campaign that begins on this October 2nd. The success of special campaign 2.0 has encouraged the government to plan a bigger campaign this time and all ministries and departments of government of India will participate in the campaign, says a government letter sent to all ministries and departments just last week. It also says that a preparatory phase will be held from September 15th to September 30th and the implementation phase of the program will be from October 2nd till October 31st. It envisages saturation of Swachhta in all offices of ministries and departments. In fact, special attention shall be paid to the field and outstation offices responsible for service <laughs> delivery or having a public interface. The Minister of State for Personal, Jitendra Singh, will announce this campaign on September 14th in Delhi.